And she goes, everybody say titty city. I was like, what? I am Easy, so dude. weak. <laughs> this is Less Than Zero. Less Than Zero. Which wristwatches are Swiss wristwatches? What? Which wristwatches are Swiss one. wristwatches? Which, I think which, that was it. Which, which, dude, I got wrist, it. <laughs> what which is wristwatches are Swiss rich watches? No, you didn't. <laughs> which, ri- which, which, wrist, which, which wristwatches wrist are Swiss wristwatches? Which, which, which wristwatches are Swiss wristwatches? Which wristwatches are Swiss <laughs> wristwatches? Right? Did I say it right? Sort of. You said Swiss. Swiss. <laughs> you can't, you gotta say the whole thing. Which wrist watches are Swiss wi- wrist watch? Fuck, whatever. <laughs> I give up. That, that's a tongue twister. Huh? That's up. a tongue twister. Guys, we are here. Are we good? We're set. Let's go, man. After Woo! two weeks, I didn't miss you guys. I got to say, this feels very, um, I feel very relieved. Good. You know, like after you pee? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was aiming for. Right. That's what I want. Yo, everyone. I want uh, everyone to feel like they like just the best. Peed. Those are the best. And you just let it. Going Especially if you've been right. holding it for like a long time. Right, for like maybe like it's fucking heaven. It's a great. full day. You ever do that? A it's full great. day? Well, maybe I can't like hold my pee a full day. Bro, I would have been pissed on myself. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> a whole day? All right. I can't do a whole day. Lessons You're Zero tripping. Podcast, episode 49. Uh please Ooh. subscribe, hit that like button, do all that. All the links, everything is below. So if you have us on audio platforms, you can subscribe to us or check out the YouTube, uh, vice versa. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. You guys, what are we gonna do for our 50th episode. Oh my God. We're going to get a sports car and do a whole midlife crisis. Oh my well, God. Let's do it. Being the fact we that need we, Niall. We would, let's hope Niall can be I here. hope Niall, yeah. Hopefully. I hope Niall can be here. We're trying to get Niall episode. back on if the, if it works out. We changed our recording day. He was supposed to be here today, but unfortunately. Whatever we do, we have to keep it work. on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, before we start the show, shout out to Kat at Jägermeister here in the Bay Area. Woo, Actually, Vicky, woo. grab some of the stuff that she sent us. I'm excited um, to try this. It's not sponsored. But she was nice enough to send us these. Uh, this is cold. These, these was, are Jägermeister cold brew mini cold brew mini coffees. Um, <laughs> thank you, Vanna, Vanna White, aka Vicky, and Love she it. also sent us a couple shirts and some sunglasses very for summertime. The other one. Very excited about it. Not sponsored, but she sent it over, and it's very nice of you. Thank so you. So I just want to give you yes, thank give you. her props. Thank you, Kat. We appreciate you. I'm and, psyched uh, on those green glasses. Yo, I know me too. Dibs on one of those green glasses. Yeah. Those are well, tight. I kept the alcohol also for you guys because you guys are the drinkers. Why do you say it like that? Well, I'm saying you guys, <laughs> I don't drink, drink. I don't drink at all. <laughs> at all? No, at all. So, you know. No, like, at all. You. Okay. But well, he has so much I mean, energy. Makes, Vicky's crazy. drinking a Modelo right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. That's kind of funny, Happy right? Cinco de Mayo, everybody. Happy yeah. Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. This is why I'm drinking it. I'm We're... starting my drinking. Okay. <laughs> Early. So, the show's going to be a lot of bees, man. Billy Eilish, Justin Bieber, Ben Affleck. We got time. Going to talk about the whole uh, divorce with Bill Gates. And is it Melinda? Bill and Melinda Gates. There you go. But first, let's get into some personal uh, Vicky just got back from Vegas. Vicky, share with us any uh, standout moments, any observations, and welcome back, by the way. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm so happy to be back. You know How was it? How was Vegas? It was. Is it normal or hot. is it like hot? It yes. gets like 120 degrees. Oh, it's there. hot there. Yeah. Yo, the hottest it got out there was like 103, 104. Oh, my God. I've never been to Vegas. No, man. You haven't? I've never been to Vegas. It's go. dope. You, in doses, though. In doses. I'm thinking about going for my birthday next year. Yeah. I think that'd be tight. Do it. Do it. <laughs> so do it. What were the highlights? Was it wide open like Florida? Like, I don't give two shits? Yeah, it's open. Like, really? Day pool parties. Really? Nightclubs. Everybody's walking around, masks off. Well, really? well there's, there's a bunch of people that still have their masks on, but you know, you see people walking with masks off. A lot of people don't have them. Don't. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> Do you, my, do you do you care though? Like, I care. Of course, I have my mask on. The yeah, only time I would yeah. take it off is like I needed a little breath taken, <laughs> or I was drinking. Right, mm. but I would always whoop, mm. pop that back up. Real Good for quick. you. Same oh, responsible. Yeah. Of course. Hell yeah. Even in Vegas. Oh, oh. yes. What absolutely. happens in Vegas stays in Vegas unless you catch unless you catch COVID. What cracks case, me up is the girls that walk around on the strip though. Like there's these girls that walk around in like. Half naked? Pretty much half mm-hmm. naked. Mm-hmm. Like I, there was this girl, there was this girl that walked around that had like these gems just on her nipples. Gems. And gems? Yeah. Like, gems. Else, like pasties, like, but they're gems. Yeah. And then she had like this like underwear, shiny underwear looking stuff. <laughs> I don't know. You just and you're like That doesn't sound comfortable. 
It doesn't. It doesn't. Mm, it doesn't. I don't know. So they would. Those are girls that walk around that like. Oh, do you want to take a picture? Oh, oh it's I like that. Las Vegas. Like the guy dressed as Spider Man on. Pretty in much. Your, yes. In, uh, like that. Hollywood Boulevard. It's yes. like going to a strip club, basically, but it's outside on the boardwalk, and you can take right. a picture. That's with essentially, them. you take what a picture with. They got to tip them. Um. Oh yeah. You yeah. know <laughs> damn well you got to tip them. But it's funny because they walk in twos. So what's funny about it is that like when they're walking around, you know, if they catch you and you're like, oh, yeah, I'll take a picture with you. They'll be like, OK, it's five dollars. Right. Uh-huh. For a picture. <laughs> but then they'll try and maneuver by saying, oh, do you have any money for my friend as well? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, How do you I'm say that? They just say no. it straightly, like straight like that. Hey, do you have any money for my friend or is, or is she going to do something too? Is she going to do some tricks? Uh, you shoot, know what I'm saying? I don't know. But my friend got busted with it. It was funny. We didn't, we all were like, no, do not take a picture with these girls. Do not nah, take a picture. You with never do it. We were already kind of drinking, walking around. And then these girls walk in. You can check it out on his um, Instagram is DJ Geo 510. What up, Geo? Um, <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. DJ Geo on IG. DJ Geo. What up, Geo? <laughs> so he, uh, when you look at it, like, I, I was recording it. I had to record it because I was like, oh, yeah. he got caught. He got caught. Now yeah. he's going to have to pay. He's going to have to pay. So he goes, like, the girls walk up to him and they're like, like in this kind of police suit or whatever. And um, they take a picture. And then one of the girls, they like both the girls drop down. They're like, let's take one more picture. And then <laughs> she had like this, you know, those whips type of thing. Yeah. So she puts it like right next to him and she goes, everybody say titty city. I was like, what? I am Easy, dude. so weak. I was like, you guys are wild. This is this What did he wild. say? Titty city. Yeah. What did he do? No, oh, like, he, did, titty he was city. just kind of like, that's so weird, bro. Uh-huh. Like, I never got that. Like, that that would just make me feel... So, like, right when I see someone, like, come towards me, I walk the opposite way. Mm-hmm. I do the exact Word. same thing. Or I do, like, in the past episode, oh, I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the That's bathroom. That's the... Oh, like, he did not see that coming, or he's just he such a... Vicky, is he such a nice Running. guy that he goes, oh, okay, you know what? I'll entertain him. Oh, or no, just, I think me might have wanted, wanted the picture. I mean, you know, that's like a touristy thing. You take a picture. You <laughs> Why not? I mean? You do it. Fuck it. I have a, I I think who would I take a picture with? I went to New York and they do that at like Times Square. Everyone's dressed up. That's mm-hmm. different though. You're talking about an actual like. I think it was Elmo. I don't remember. <laughs> That's entirely different than. Hey, but those look scary. Like there was a Minnie Mouse and a Mickey Mouse out there in Vegas. Busted. Yo. All of them. <laughs> Wrecked. No. They're all just homeless like, guys look, who came just up on a, on a weird. thing. Just and they make money too. Taking a picture with the mimes of New York or people like that that are the fabric or or part of the culture of New York is much different than a half naked girl, which you can take a picture anywhere. The half naked girl is part of the fabric of the culture of Vegas, too. That's yeah, what actually, I think you know of, what you're actually you know what you're right about that. Vegas, <laughs> you're right about all that. All ass and titties, drugs and girls, di- and like strippers, gambling. Yeah, right. that's what we think of. So it's yeah. all it's all part of it. You're yeah. like I went to Vegas and here's a naked girl. That's kind of part of it. Right. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Trash city. No, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, anything else that stood out that uh, you may have observed or maybe experienced yourself? I know there's something, man. Old Vegas. I've, I've never gone to the old Vegas. What's old Vegas? Never been. What's Fremont? Uh, Fre- Fre- it's called Fremont? Fremont. Fremont. It's like downtown. Street or something like that. Downtown Vegas. What and is that? that's, I got to see where Strip. they filmed. Uh, where the weekend filmed Blinding Lights. Wow. It was dumb. I didn't realize I was I was thinking did about you recreate I was like, it? I wonder why I wonder <laughs> no, but I can put why did you not re- why did you it. not recreate it? Because I can just visualize I'm just visualizing it in my head. No, nah, you gotta I'm, do I'm, it. I'm visualizing it all. Yeah, I do it for head. the gram. Like, I can Vicky. see the whole music video right now. Just like you should have done the whole so music dope. video. I should have. Uh, Come on, Vicky, for the gram. Damn it, I should have. Right. That right. been tight. No, but you see that like you see the all just the shine the area where he starts. Cool. Where he's like tripping out, and then you see that uh, the street where he likes run, like he starts running at the end of the video. Yeah, hell I yeah, just, bro! I looked at the street and I was like, <laughs> I, I know this street. Yeah. But as I'm looking, I'm just like I said, I was visualizing it in my head. So just I'm pretending like, like you were the weekend. So that's when I'm like looking like this. I'm like, oh yeah, there goes the weekend, <laughs> even though he's not here. <laughs> One time I misspelled I the it. weekend on a tweet, and I got in, I got in hella trouble. What? How did you spell it? I like, spelled like, it spell like, like the normal? weekend. weekend. Yeah. yeah. No, it's no E at the end. It's W-E-E. You're fired. Yeah, I figured K-N-D. that out. That's it. That's it. So you're he spelled. didn't want to get caught. He didn't yeah. want to get caught. He was going to spell it wrong too. <laughs> Spelling is hard, man. Spelling is hard. So would you say like uh, 10 out of 10, 10 being the best, your Vegas trip, 10 out of 10? 8 out of 10? For this trip? Yeah. No, like a seven. Word. I think my 10 out of 10 trip was the second time I went around, mm, what you know that you it lived? was just so freaking fun. We were just gambling, yeah. the whole time. Made you ever a hella win, money? You ever win lost money? Hella money? Really? <laughs> it was sad. <laughs> What's the most sad. that you won? Like two bands? Really? Nice. Yeah. Like Yo, you walked you away with? Dipped. Let me guess. You lost it all because you got greedy. 
No, uh, we kept we kept like there. You, we were like just you walked away with well, two racks. Then we were like yeah. eating and chilling, doing all Fuck that, yeah. and then we gambled more, and then that's when I lost. Oh, okay, there. But oh, I, hell no! I I paid for my whole trip. I was yeah. chilling. That's dope. Wow, I was chilling. That's tight. and I put in like fifty bucks. Nice. Like ra- two grand. Are you playing black? Are you playing? Yeah. What are you playing? Are you playing? Yeah. Blackjack. No, I was playing the crabs. Ah, craps. Uh, I've never played craps. I've only played blackjack. I got I the hand, man. I got the magic can for that dice. Pew. <laughs> if we knew someone that could count cards, that would be amazing. Like that movie. I forgot. What it's, I think it's called Rounders. Can you imagine uh, if we had the ability to count cards? I thought you were going to say Rain Man. That too. No, not Rain Man. <laughs> you know, like, you know, counting cards. That's a yeah, thing. Yeah, you count cards. Now, I know this. It's illegal. Well, it's illegal, but dude, how, if you know how to count cards. Well, they can't tell unless they can Yeah, tell. they can't tell. You know, you got to be smart about it. Yeah. What's crazy is that they always look at like when, when a, like one of the dice goes off the table and somebody picks it up, like every single time they yeah, pick it up. Yeah, because you get different dice. They you look at it dice. and they're like observing the dice yeah. to make sure they didn't switch it in their hand. Yeah, all the time. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That's why yeah. if you're a magician. You did not just say dice. I do that all the time. <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah. Let me grab some it. weighted gold Says the guy that doesn't even gamble $5. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So good, good for Vegas. But overall, it was fun. You should definitely go. Next time. Yeah, you got to go, dude. I mean, even if you're not like a big, you're not going to go to the strip clubs and gamble. You can. Go I want to go just for the buffets. I'm trying to eat the and then go in And then go into, you know, the strip and just go take a picture with the girls so then they can say, Titty City. Titty City. I can totally. My dreams will come true. Your dreams will freaking come true. Like, I could totally picture that and I could see that being so awkward, like visually for him. I would hate it. You see what I'm saying? I'd be like, no, I can see just a. <laughs> yeah right. I'd be like, that. I'd be like this. <laughs> I can see. Okay, I can definitely see that. Just um, with that awkward look on his face. Just okay. So, okay. Uh, did you see it, Baker and the Beauty? I saw an episode. Okay, I, I told her. I told her to watch this episode. So this this rom com right that's out on Netflix, and it it was on ABC last year, and it got cut. And, and then they put it on Netflix just like a couple, we're filming on Wednesday, today's Cinco de Mayo, so like last week, right? And it automatically shot to number one. So it's like nice. one of those like- Is it just one season? No, it's nine. Oh, it's no, nine it's, it's one season, one season. Oh, it yeah, I was it, say. it didn't get picked up I for was season. like, whoa, hold on. How <laughs> yeah, did it go from one season to nine? So backstory, it, it's, it's, they're fighting to, to put it up, to get it renewed for season two, but that's mm. the whole dichotomy of this whole thing. So it's we'll season see. one, nine episodes. It's called Baker and the Beauty. It's a rom-com. I know people think rom-coms, oh, hella cheesy. Yo, it hits so different, man. And I, I was talking to Vicky, you know, on our prep calls. I'm like, I think there's something wrong with me. Because, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm being because I when I watched it last week, I stayed home Friday night, watched the whole thing. I, I was crying my eyes out. Maybe it's the oh. soundtrack, the Zara Larson song, the whole like the whole the, the whole idea of the the fact that it's about someone that's really rich and successful. And she by chance meets a baker, baker in the beauty. Mm. And they get to know each other. She happens to just really not be the stereotypical famous celebrity. And there's a lot of layers to her. I don't want to give it all away, but correct me if I'm wrong. But so it's about a rich lady. She's a, she, well, she's a model. Uh-huh. She's a, uh, she's a rich lady falls in love with a baker. Fashionista. Right. But they run into each other at a chance meeting and they they don't automatically fall in love. They run into each other and they get to know each other through time. There's just mm. a lot of layers to it, man. Right. She ends up being. Really just as normal as all of us. And just really being, not saying like celebrities are shitty people. But Rich people are just like us. But she, she's like, a, she's a Some. philanthropist. <laughs> and I started doing the, the digging on who she is. Her name is, her real name is Natalie Kelly. And she really is that person in real life. She moved out of LA. I mean. Like, hold on. She's she, also an actress. I knew you were going to say that. See? <laughs> says the naysayer. Says the naysayer. She's not the person she plays on TV. You can't say she's the that person. Okay, Justo, can I just get this in? Otherwise, I'm going to forget. Okay, get it okay. in. Do it. Go for it. She was living the Stick LA. The, she was living the typical LA life about a year, year and a half ago. Okay. Okay. She moved. She moved. I think out of the country or something. She now lives. Sold all her clothes. She does not live that celebrity life. And by the way, she's not even like an A list celebrity. You can look it up. She's like what, like maybe a C or D. I said a C list. Yeah, she's not even that big. She says it, and okay. she's a. She's really of the earth. She's all cool. about, you know, doing good for the community, doing you good love for her, the don't planet. You? So I said, oh, my God, thank you. I'm so happy you said that. You know it's going there. You know it's going there. I'm in love. Of course. Uh, he, bro. No, I see. That's it. See, there. See. What? That's no, no, okay. no. That, that's the, that's the, that's the, 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 di- that's the dick way of saying, yeah, of course. You if, can, you, you can fall say, in love with a fictional character if you no, want to. That's he, totally he fine. He didn't say, he, no, he didn't say, Vicky, he didn't say, of course, like he meant, he goes, oh, yeah, of course. Like, I've heard, <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> like he that, fought, like Julia falls in love with every, every girl. Every no. Girl on TV. 
No. Every, oh, every pretty girl on TV. Let me tell you something. There is grown men, grown men. I won't name your names because I'm not gonna out you. Word. But there's grown men that hit me on in my in my messages on IG. That like you? <laughs> Good for no. you, Julian. No. <laughs> that is no, that why are you you're the girl. You should be empathetic to this. Like you should understand. Like, meaning, can you understand what, what I'm saying? I'm not. Wait, I'm thought. not a celebrity. There was was no, but I'm saying there's grown men that would tell me, bro, I know, I know, I know what you're saying, bro. It hit me different too. I cried as well. That's okay. I'm not talking about that. Like, it's not like it's I okay planned on feelings. crying. Yeah. It's okay to have feelings. So Shoot. I started listening to I cried music. at an Apple commercial. So like, I get it. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> on everything. It was a Super Bowl Apple commercial. Was it depressing? It was so sad. It was like someone's dead grandpa and they were like watching a thing on an iPad. It was like a slideshow of their dead grandpa on an iPad. So oh, Jesus. Fucking lost it. Fucking oh, lost it. Oh, God. So Wait, like, it's okay to cry with- at things. Here's why. And I think oh that I'm sitting there. I like it's on the Super Bowl. So I'm like, there's food. Everyone's there. And they're like, <laughs> like I that. hate when they make commercials like that because it makes me so sad. <laughs> well, and it just goes point. into and it just goes into football. But that's the whole point of And then it goes back to football. <laughs> <laughs> no more crying. Yeah. 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 Touch down. <laughs> if something gets if something invokes some type of emotion, then you know it's successful. And maybe I started yeah. thinking deeper, you know, like I there's some relatability there, right? Like you either you hope for something like that, where there it's that type of true love, or you wish you were the baker. You know, there's all these different thoughts. And inside I also think, yo, why can't that be me? Why or why can't that be all of us? You know what I mean? Now, number one, I got a question. This fairy tale, this this it's a movie. I get it, but you also there's also this thing called hope, right? Like everyone wants that fairy tale type of love. Do you mm-hmm. do you guys think it is, it, it exists? No. Do you think you're asking two people in relationships? But you also have a lot of friends, right? So you guys are in relationships. So you would think that our our, our relationships are fucking fairy tale. You, yeah, <laughs> nothing's a fairy tale. Nothing's stop, a fairy tale. That's stop. the thing that sucks. Nothing's I know that. But I'm talking tale. about the actual idea of the baker and the beauty. Someone that that you that makes you feel a certain way. I know it sounds cheesy, but I'm sorry. Someone that makes you, as the movie says, make you walk taller. Makes you feel taller. I makes think you be stronger. There's truth to that. I don't know. There's I gotta, truth. I gotta watch the whole show to. To tell, to, to know, there's definitely. I only watched one episode. <laughs> Vicky, it's a, that type of love that hits you here, not here, not here. I'm sorry, I feel like all rom coms hit me. No, hit me no. here. No, I've seen <laughs> Love Simon. For. I've seen ten things, <laughs> dude. I've seen every single rom com. It's never hit me here, here. No, not even. Yeah. Uh, Dang. Yes. Oh man, yeah. I can't remember That's the name crazy. of it now. Anyway, um, but do, like, do, do you think love like that can exist? Yeah, I think I have that with my wife, genuinely. It's, and it's it's cheesy, but it's true because like I feel like she genuinely makes me a better person. Better person, right? That's Agreed. it. And that's what you should have in a partner. But it's the meeting, the whole thing like, you know what I mean? They didn't plan on meeting and she ends right. up being this really famous person, but she ends up being like super like a super like dorky, just a dope person at the end of the day behind all the money and all the superficiality. Well, I mean, and, when you think about it, that's what I said. I think I said it what, in the last episode? In the last episode you say? where we what? where i said you people tend to f- don't expect to fall in love with certain people like it's not it just kind of happens just never know and it happens it happens by surprise and it sometimes it's not great timing and mm-hmm. you know a lot of to actually end up with someone who's right for you isn't it just about the right person it's about how each of you each of your state yeah. of minds are at the time yeah and when you met like yeah. if i met my wife earlier than when i did we probably wouldn't end up together because i was a different person <laughs> a so Julian's you really do believe Aladdin. in like <laughs> so you really hope that you really do believe in like nature and god and these forces whoa they I, kinda, didn't, I didn't go that far well i mean it's the timing of it right <laughs> that you we'll didn't you out. didn't plan it so god no, did nature definitely didn't. when i when i met my wife i was expecting to be single for a long time mm. it was in my mind i was like because i just got out of a, rela- a relationship mm-hmm. so i was like i'm gonna be single till whenever i'm gonna focus on work i'm not even gonna worry i'm gonna think about mm-hmm. dating and then i met her and then it was over for me. so basically and the rest is history the rest is history so this is a real and life now baker there's a ring on this finger so this is a real I'll life snap baker. <laughs> this is a real life baker and the beauty you're the baker she's the beauty yeah 100 i wish i was a baker that's such seems like such a dope job he's got a great a family baker. i would be a fuck man be, I a, I baker. be a baker there's nothing wrong being you know baker? what i thought about joining culinary school yeah. but i couldn't handle being in a kitchen couldn't handle okay. it well, too you much you want to be your own baker be just become a baker on my wife's, my wife's a good baker. I'm getting go. everywhere. Did you say you want to be a baker, but you don't want to spend time in the kitchen? No, a cook. A cook. <laughs> oh. I'm not good at baking. Baking is fucking hard. Baking I'm a good is cook. fun, though. I'm a good I love cook. baking. I'm a good cook, though. Mm. I thought about like, I was like, oh, maybe I'll transition to a new career. Oh, maybe I can be a cook and be that, going, that go to culinary time, school. That will take some time. Culinary like, is... Working yeah. in a restaurant, way too stressful. 
can't handle the stress. I think any job <laughs> is going to be stressful. It. If you want to be successful at anything, it's all going to be stressful. But if you love what you do, it's not. I think it's how you it's frame worth it. it. It's not really stress. It's it's enjoyable. Yeah, there's there's See, good there things. Go. As it's enjoyable. a good stress. Yeah. It's a good stress. Um, good stress. last question before we move on from this because it's going to make me cry. <laughs> um, I, I don't know why. Like I'm because I guess we it hit that. It hit a nerve. Oh, it hit a nerve. Yeah. Well, it's okay that it hit a nerve. You're it, not being very sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, she would relate to what I'm saying. Okay, so Vicky, you being the girl, if I'm I, cold hearted, <laughs> is, this, is, is this too much? But I honestly feel like I want to like try to shoot my shot at this girl, Natalie Kelly. You did already. What are you talking about? I did, but I think I did it the wrong way. Yes, he did. Oh no, I did it the wrong way. What'd you do, Julian? I DM'd he her said, on Facebooked her. He be, D, okay, his DM be, was a little different. His DM, I allowed it, okay. but his Facebook was like. You did both too. <laughs> I don't know why I Facebook what do you say? this. I he don't said, know hi, Natalie. I highly doubt you re- you read this, but you can't blame me for trying. I believe in swinging for the fences. Did, what, where, is this on Facebook? Yeah. I'm going to slap the Facebook? shit out of you. Yeah. I, I didn't even frame Are you serious? <laughs> Yo, can you rewrite? Can you can you do the typing for me? Because I, I assume she knew what I was talking about. And I, I don't know why I did it. I was so emotional, bro. What was that? What is that? Like, it's Facebook. I messaged her. Facebook she has a fan me. page. Oh, you, her fan page? Well, her whatever. She doesn't her, read her that page. shit. She, she doesn't read that, read shit. this shit. Yeah, well, that's why I messaged her. I'm like, she's not going to read it show anyway. Me, show me the DM one. You're better off on, like, yeah, it was on, on Instagram? The, yes, Instagram she's, DM was a little, you're more, a little different. You're more likely to, hit, for her to what actually the fuck see fuck goes on Facebook and read? Well, Especially I do. I'm not Facebook. even lying. But I just, I keep page. it on red. Not Tell me what to write. Tell me what I did wrong. Go ahead. It was a dick pic, wasn't it? Shut up. Do you think I'm a douche? What do you think it I am, dude? It was a dick pic. Is no, my I'm name Simp? Hell no. I'm a nice, respectful, I'm a nice, respectful I don't know. human that being. First, that first message was a little simp-like. Well, because okay. I'm a simp for her. So this, I'm a simp for her. So that's this okay. Is what that's he okay. Said. Dude, you got to do your research on her. She's a, beautiful, okay. she's a beautiful human being, dude. I'm a Googler right now. Okay, so this is what he said. Hey, Nat, curious. What inspired this change? I follow your story, so I was just curious is all. I think you're the absolutely most beautiful woman, human, I've ever seen. Oh, that's sweet. Now, uh, now that one, okay, I'll allow it. But because better. he's asking something that that can make her think like, oh, he's asking me a question. Yeah. But like, Vicky, what made you? A specific Vicky, question. Vicky, Vicky, you know? Vicky. But then added the little, ah, Vicky, extra little sauce. Ah, you know? ah, Vicky, ah. help me out because we got to get into these stories. What she didn't read it. How do I get her attention? Like, what? What's your best way? She's a. I mean, she's a celebrity for what it is. Comment, comment on her picture saying, "Check your DM." <laughs> she ain't gonna read it though. Bro, I get those all the time. It's a little uh, check your DMs. Frustrating. Word. Check your DM. Like, I can't keep messaging her because then I'm gonna be like creepy. But I, yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like I got a shot. I don't know. I don't you know. You shot why. your shot. That's all you can do. If you that's do it, it and you, you, you on two different shot. platforms. That's it. I think that's it. Oh, you just gotta, give up, huh? I mean, yeah. Unless you want to go to her house. That's. She doesn't creepy. live in this country, I don't think. Just, she, she where did moved. she live? She used to live in LA. Remember, she changed her life. She's not a. Ce- she doesn't like the celebrity life. She's I told not her this. A celebrity anymore. She sold uh, all her clothes. She literally is after like the she's show? living. So I told him. I said. So there's before. definitely not going to be a season two before then. before the show. No, there's, be- if there's a season oh, okay. two, she's for sure going to be in it. <laughs> but what I'm saying, so I told him. I said, so she's living a normal life with hella money. Yeah. Dude, Word. she doesn't have hella money, bro. Probably not. not, not, not say, okay, not I'm not the gonna show say got like she's not a deal. She's not. Just, she's not as rich as you think. Okay, <laughs> I'm not saying like, oh my gosh, she got millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> but I mean, she got a nice bank account. I'm pretty sure. Got a sure. nice bank account. You know Word. She was in Fast and Furious 13 years ago. <laughs> she was. She was in the Bruno bro, Mars. Yes. She's the love the interest of Bruno Mars, just the way you are. She's that girl. She was in Dynasty. She was in Dynasty. The remake after like a season though. After one season. I didn't see that. Um, she was in some other not, stuff too. Yeah, I have to Google her. I, don't, I yeah, mean, you, she got it's not it's not bread. It's not like she got hella bread, but she <laughs> got some. She chilling. She, she working. Live, act, she's a working. She actress. living a cool life. Cool. If anyone has any suggestions, cool. let me know because I'm for real. I'm if in anyone love. knows her, if anyone has her number, yeah, send it to Julian. I'm sure it's that easy. Okay, <laughs> all right. So Billie Eilish definitely one of the uh, and it's going to continue Billie. to be one of the big stories. Uh, for this week and this past week, she is on the cover of British Vogue, uh, the June edition. By the way, it's Cinco de Mayo. It'll drop in two days, the digital version. So by the time this video and everything drops, it's already out. But anyway, uh, mm. first initial See. thought: very different look for for Billie Eilish. Normally, she's uh, it's a softer look on her. I soft, say, is, soft is a good way to put it. I got a the very photos too. The photos are just. Great photos. Yeah. yeah. Very tasteful. Very 60s. Yeah. Like I automatically thought Marilyn. I loved it. Marilyn. Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Scarlett Johansson. Okay. And Billie Eilish. Okay. All put into one. That's the vibe I got. But I also thought it's maybe a little bit. 
Is she going for like a sexy vibe, dude? I mean, she was wearing, of course, uh, lingerie. She yeah. loves herself. That's and that's fine. That's what everyone's See? freaking out about it. Everyone's like, oh, my God. I fucking love it. Because it I changed. fucking love it, too. She it's great. Beautiful. When it comes down, like, I know, like, there's an argument of that she's being a, um, oh, what's the word? When you go against what you say. What's right. A, she's what's contradicting herself. Yeah. Hypocrite. Right. Hypocrite. Because she said stuff about hiding her body before and shit like that. But two things. One, you're allowed to change your mind. Period. Two, it's her body. She can do whatever the fuck she wants with it. Period. Three. I forgot my third point, but the two points stand <laughs> <laughs> no, that's to add so the true, though. That's so true. I mean, so what? Like, did, he, did really, she really said that? Are you what? sure she said hide her body? Or be proud of her body. A long time ago. This a long time ago. Because well, she's yeah, not. But that's yeah. And she was like, that's the third was, one. She was a kid, seventeen, Thank you. Thank eighteen. You. And then, but it, like, hello. You're allowed like, to change your mind. It was for one of her concerts. She um she had it on the big screen where she like yeah. kind of undressed herself. Yeah, it was like a video or something. Yeah, and it's kind of like, dude, she's an adult. She's like. And it's, especially if she's like loves herself, she loves her body. She you know she can do whatever the hell she wants. Yeah. Like, girl, you she, killing it. And she said it in like there are <laughs> there are, there are segments of her interview from Vogue that mm-hmm. are out. Oh no, I, and I she, read them. And she said it herself. Like you can hide yourself, your hide your body, or show off your body. It's up to you. It's right. your body. I mean, you just so, unless I read it correctly, it. I think she's on this whole mantra of got to be proud of your body. Right, she's on that whole yeah, vibe. Pod, that's body what, positivity is totally fine, which is involves what, in you if you don't want to show. But then she also said, "Young girls, they grow up too fast." She also there's a part in that article she says, "Young girls grow up too fast," and she's, I mean, that's kind she's of not that young, but she's. Do you think the pictures are kind of? I guess it's because I'm not used to seeing her that way. She's only 19 still. You think they're a little bit too sexy? A little no? bit too yeah. sexy. Yeah, it's not that. It's sensual more than sexy. Sensual. I like that word. You know sensual I mean? seduction, it's not maybe? Sexy. It's a good one. It's, it's, it's not seduction. sexy. Sorry. It's not a Playboy. Uh, <laughs> sensual sensual seduction. That's a song, right? Who's yeah, singing Snoop, Snoop Dogg? Dog. Sensual seduction. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that yeah. shit. I like that word, sensual. Because it's not sexual. That's it's a not one. a Playboy centerfold. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, no. just, it's just a. It's, it's sexually. Um, it's, it's going there. What's the word? Keep it 100. It's going there. I guess. She's, it's not that bad. She's titillating you. She's titillating you. I don't like that word. I don't like that word. I don't like that word either. That <laughs> don't say, sounds don't weird. Don't say titillating. Um, okay. The the video that dropped your power, uh, the snake. Yo, how the hell should she not? I would have screamed like a six-year-old girl and screamed like. Do you think it was yo, a real snake? Was it a CGI snake? It looked real to me, dude. Doesn't I would have peed my she, pants, doesn't bro. Doesn't she have a snake? Does she have a pet snake? She has she a got, dog. Dude, that's an dogs. anaconda, bro. That's not a snake. That's, that's an anaconda, a, anaconda bro. I sworn I thought she had a pet snake. I swear, I really thought she had a pet snake. I think she does, but I don't know if it's that big. Anyway. Shoot. I mean, I'd be scared to have a snake wrap around me, period. <laughs> Yo, I have a, I have a uh, one on my uh, IG, and the snakes are wrapped around me, and I'm like freaking out. So, yes. Wait, I'd wait, wait you got a real snake? Yeah, there's a real snake on my IG. Oh, my God. Did you, did you at any point in time want to pee your pants? <laughs> no. Snakes aren't that scary. What are you talking about? They're venomous. Are you high? No, not that, ve- not that snake. They're venomous. Are you high? <laughs> you're talking not about, that snake. You're talking about the snake wrapped around her. Yeah, it squeezes you. It doesn't. Okay, it squeezes you to death. Yeah, to death. But Whatever. Ve- venom. It's, They'll it get can... it off you before it does that. What? <laughs> They'll be able to take it off before it rings your, before it goes around Oh, because you have so much Yo, experience that, with that anaconda snake, wrapped around my, her. My snake middle school. Like three times around her. My middle like, school, my <laughs> middle school screaming. teacher had an anaconda in the classroom. We used to pet it and take it out and hold it and shit. Did it, it wrap great. around you? Uh, yeah. It would go around your shoulders or on your neck and shit. And the three Twice. arms. <laughs> like six times. times. I passed out once, but it's fine. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Is that? Is that snake symbolic when it's wrapping around her body closer and closer and closer? Is that symbolic of the song of um, that person overpowering the other person taking advantage of their control? Good job, Julian. Yes. Good job. Look yeah? at you. Guys, I'm not a dumbass. Look at you. I'm not that stupid. No, is that, is Look that, I mean, you. would you say that's spot on? That's pretty spot on. It's kind of what the song's about, right? It's about uh, abusing, abusing power, power, right? Particularly yeah. men abusing power. Yeah, no one in particular, though. No one in particular, mm, right? I mean, not according to this. Probably she's probably had people in mind, but who is mm. to say who that is? Yeah, she's shooting shots, but she's not shooting shooting shots to anyone directly. Yeah, interesting. Which yeah. is yeah, but well, like she is, and we just don't know. We just don't know who. If you know, you know. If you, you know, know, you know. Maybe that person had a snake, and they're like, maybe oh it's shit, her brother. Maybe, maybe it's her no, brother. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, speaking of um, shooting shots, 
Everyone's shooting their, well, not, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, I guess what I'm saying is everyone's going in on, <laughs> like that segue. Everyone's going in on taking Justin, their shots. Yeah, taking their shots at uh, Justin Bieber's dreadlocks. Have you seen him, Justin? From shooting shots to taking their shots. Justin yeah. Bieber has dreadlocks now. He looks like a little pump. How big are these dreadlocks? Bro, they look funny. Little, little dealies? They're like, no, nah, they're like braids. And then the way he has them, they it's like a rat's like nest, bro. Like this. Ooh, gross. Yeah, like what, like a bandana or something? Yeah, I like Justin Bieber. Love his music. I'm going to be honest. He doesn't someone, give a fuck. For someone that's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, who did this? Like, <laughs> you do, I, you, I got to think that someone would do a better job, no? But that's exactly it. He has hundreds of millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions of dollars. What does he have to lose by growing some dreadlocks? Yeah, him? but if you're going to get dreadlocks done. He had a done. terrible mustache for a long time. He does whatever the fuck yeah, he wants. Yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> like, that was horrible. He can do whatever the fuck he wants to do. And people will still be like, oh my God, I love Justin Bieber. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm in my head, people going he in on him. Beliebers. Yeah, I've yeah. been believers. You know Justin, he doesn't care. He's probably doing it because he wants to just because sometimes you can just do things because you want to do it. Why do you need to have like some like intellectual exactly. reason, funs- right? For funsies. For funsies, right? And he doesn't, he's not, he shouldn't respond to anyone. He doesn't owe anyone anything now. What was that comparison you made? Remember we were talking, you made that, uh, you made a, like an analogy to... Um, Adam Sandler? Yes. Yeah, because Adam Sandler doesn't care about what he looks like. I loved it. You ever see that video of Justin Bieber running into Adam Sandler on the street? No. No. It's it's not that impressive, but <laughs> you guys made the, com- the comparison, so it came to mind. Did no. they look alike? It was a long time ago. They were just uh, walking... And then Adam Sandler, Adam Sandler was walking. Oh, yes, I did see it. And then they now. see Justin Bieber. He's like, oh, hi. And then you shake hands and then they just keep walking. Yeah, he's in this. And I, I'll bet you Adam Sandler's in his, his cr- crappy ass sneakers, he basketball wearing, shorts. Yeah, that's exactly. Long long ass, sweatshirt. That's long all ass shirt. he wears is just regular t-shirts because when you're hey, it. like sneakers. Can you imagine being it. that rich? You just don't give two shits, man. Who cares? He's not trying to impress anybody. I love neither that. of them. Never. Fuck it. Now, here's the thing. So you basically said Adam Sandler because Adam Sandler's wife is is very attractive. Yeah. Yes. So that's like the. Oh, yeah, that's how I see it. Because Justin Bieber yeah. doesn't. I feel like he doesn't care about what he looks like. Yeah, he, he has wears. a hot he has a hot wife. But Who's he have wife, to impress? I mean, his wife's a freaking model. So yeah. she's always dressed to the T's. And mm. you yeah. see Justin Bieber dressed like <laughs> whatever. Like no dreadlocks. Now, let me ask you this. I feel like it's the same way as Adam Sandler and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I've always dressed to the T and Adam Sandler just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. They, they just care about what's in their bank account. Now, here's this. Word. Let's say you're Haley and you're walking around with this guy that's wearing a hockey jersey all the way down to his knees. And I'm talking about Justin. I'm just. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And he's got a whatever, whatever you want to call it on his head. Would you care? Or, do, or in the back of your head, you'd be like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I'm walking. <laughs> with this I guy. don't care. You know, I mean, if, uh, if my dude wants to, that makes him happy if he wants to try it. <laughs> Who am I to? Honey, I support you and your terrible dreadlocks. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, real quick. I love you for you. Just remember that. Th- this was last week. I thought this is the best ever, man. Adam Sandler was at an IHOP in New York with his daughter. Mm. He had a mask on. Now, again, he the girl at IHOP didn't recognize him, but I guess there was like a 30 minute wait or something like that. So she had to turn him away. And normally celebrities pull the, do you know who I am card? Or they, oh, you know, they act like a douchey celebrity. But like I, Vicky did when she was at uh, the oh, Dolores, at Dolores Park. Park. Do you know who I am? <laughs> yeah. yeah. God, yeah. people. That's exactly what she did because that's her character. But you know what? Like, I can understand. I can see why people do it. But I mean, it's just, come on. There's not that many. So what did people. Adam do? He no, do he, he did what he people. Said, okay. Yeah, he should. He it's did true. what exactly what normal people should be doing. He'd be like, okay, no problem. Yeah. He, he. Went outside and went to, I think, a different place, like a different IHOP. But which is great. That's why I love Adam Sandler. He yeah, seems like Adam a great Sandler's guy. So dope. He's in, just a fun, fun loving guy. He's one of those celebrities that I love to be friend. One of those real ones. Yeah. Now the him girl, and Seth Rogen. Yeah, for sure. When the girl realized, I want to try his new, uh, his Rogen. new weed company. How's it? Would like to be his homie. When the girl he was weed company. You didn't know that? No, I didn't know. Seth that. Rogen just came out with his own weed company. Oh, he is. Oh, he's walking dope. weed. He's a, he's a walking tree. But it's a whole company oh, that make for sure they is. make his own yeah. weed and ashtrays and lighters and all these cool things. It's oh, dope. That's cool. Google Houseplant. It's check that out. Real cool quick, stuff. the girl at IHOP when she realized who she was, she made a funny TikTok about it, basically saying, "I'm a clown. I can't believe it." Uh-huh. And then see this is how cool Adam Sandler is. His exact tweet he tweeted out: "For the record, I only left the IHOP because the nice." Woman told me the all you can eat deal didn't apply to the milkshakes. <laughs> so he just funny. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> cool guy, right? I wish Adam Sandler was my dad, man. Oh man. Oh man. Same. I know. That would be so Rare. dope. All right. <laughs> that would be so dope. Okay. Uh, another B. Ben Affleck. Uh, what do you do just now? Knocking these bees out. Yo. Knocking them out. Knocking these bees out. Do you know the story or no? No, I don't. Okay, it's the best. So this TikTok girl, Naveen, <laughs> uh, they're on this dating app. So apparently there's a dating app for people that are celebrities. It's called Raya. R-A-Y-A. Oh, yeah. It costs, it's only like 
less than $10 a month. But here's the thing. They don't accept everyone. Only 8% of applicants get accepted. So I'll get denied. Anyway, so the, the, <laughs> I know I was going to say, should I get in there? Yeah, try to get in there. Well, I'll get denied. <laughs> um, so this TikTok girl, Naveen, matches with Ben Affleck on the dating app. And guess what she does? Oh, no. Clowns him on Twitter, on no. TikTok. No, she unmatches she him. She unmatches him. Unmatch him. Be- because unmatch she thought somebody? Because she thought it was, she'd being trolled. Right. Because she's like, oh, that's not really ben right, Affleck. Ben Affleck. So guess what he does? What did he do? He made a video and found an Instagram and then DM'd her the video. And he's like, do you want to do the... Re- <laughs> he goes, <laughs> why did you unmatch me? It's me. Ew, <laughs> no, he wasn't. He, no, he goes, Naveen, it's me. Ben or something like that. Why would you unmatch me? It's me. Like just the way <laughs> this is he a video. Said, like, he said, bro, like he, yes, he's like a video. <laughs> he's like hella close to the camera. Like give me a second. Hella close to the camera. You gotta look for it. It's hilarious. And she like put it like she put it on her TikTok. Go, <laughs> it, it's on the it's on the prep sheet. But I mean, oh, you put the link on there. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That um, is hilarious. But I mean, at the end of the day, I'm thinking to myself, hey, he didn't do nothing wrong, man. Celebrities got to find love too. I'd probably do the same thing. And she's hot. And the thing about it that made me. They, like trip out was like dude if you're in a dating app that celebrities are in why wouldn't you think that it wasn't him well right. here, here, i don't understand so. that here's why because it's not like it's a lot of like a lot of people can be on it it can be like influencers oh, micro influencers here wait. The, well yeah of course you can, but you can hear it wait naveen why did you unmatch me it's me <laughs> it's a little but Although now it's also cut the way me? his face the expression creepy. i feel like he was trying to be kind of funny He's like, it's me. I don't think it was funny. I thought it was kind of creepy. A little creepy, but I feel like he was trying to be funny about it. Dude, he's like- being. I think he low key was sad. Too, <laughs> Not he too. Didn't, that she unmatched him. He was uh, like, damn, <laughs> she's a pretty girl. Hold on, let me. <laughs> that's so funny. I can't even. Ben Affleck doing fine. He's doing fine. He's oh, fine. that's facts. I'm him pretty his, sure. Him and his after crazy she, back after tattoo. he DM'd her, I'm pretty sure she lied. <laughs> oh, she regrets it. Oh, they've probably seen each other <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. after that. Do, do you um, think Ben Affleck is an attractive guy? Is Ben Affleck hot? No. By the way, do you know where he's from? There's it's that okay. too. He's okay. Be- before you guys continue, do you know where he's from? Boston? Berkeley. No, he's not. Yes, really? He's Facts. Ber- Stop. Dude, he's Berkeley? from Berkeley. Yes. Make me fact Google check again. him, please. He's Google. from the Bay fact Area, check man. Him. I'm going to Google What do you need to fact check me? I don't think that's true. Oh, <laughs> Berkeley? That's what we're going to fact he's check Berkeley, you right dude. now. We're going to fact check you. Nah, okay, keep not- going. You were saying what about Ben? I don't oh, shit. You're right. He was born in Berkeley. Fact What's check me. That? Fact check me. He has been <laughs> fact checked. So do you think he's attractive? <laughs> nah, he's okay. Yeah. I maybe mean, any, back in the maybe back in the day. Any of these celebrities would be any normal looking person, guy or I mean, I can't speak for the girls. Well, anyway, the guys. <laughs> let's, let's talk about the guys. The okay, guys would yeah. be I think they'd be normal. You can find them at any local bar. I just Ben Affleck just looks like a guy. Oh, but right now what's going on too is that he's been um back with J Lo. Hanging he's out? been hanging out with J Lo, oh, so shit. everybody's like, "Ooh, what's now going she's, on there?" She's single but too now. Right? All, no, I don't think so. I, I think thought they, they got, got a divorce too. No, they're keep up with no, 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 no. The last, the last. No, they they were gonna uh, they were ending their engagement or something, but uh, then uh, they had a dinner. But I, it's not happening. Like they had, I think he's trying to get her back. I mean, again, we don't know. You but think he is? Nah. Like when you're in a relationship, don't ago. you think? I mean. I ain't no expert by far, but once someone, whether it's a guy or girl, once you already have like rough patches in the relationship and you already kind of said, no, nah, this is not going to work out. Even if you get back together, I just think that's a band aid. I don't think that it's going to be that, that forever. It's that's not going to be like beauty. It's not going to be like the Baker and the beauty. It's not <laughs> going to be like that. Nothing, okay, like okay, nothing could be like Baker and the beauty. Nothing could be like the Baker and the beauty. Real life. <laughs> Natalie. With a don't TV you, show. don't stop saying real life. That's real life to me. <laughs> that's real life. <laughs> Nikki, will you help me make this real life okay. for me? We gotta hook up Julian with beauty. Whatever help name me. Is. Help me. <laughs> Man, he's serious. Help me. Help me help you. Man. No, but I look, I believe like the fairy tale, the well, fairy like, the, 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 look, the fairy tale relationships, fairy tale love. I I we, I wish it would exist. I know it's far and few between, but it can happen. It can happen, Julian. I 100 percent believe fairy it can happen. Tale- Define your definition of fairy tale is no. a little. I don't know about fairy tale. Can, can I give you the but definition? But like good relationships, different world. Yeah. <laughs> can I give you the definition? But good relationships happen. Can I stop right here? I have a lot of friends, not naming any names, that are uh, in relationships and marriages out of convenience. I'm going to tell you this. this is a fact. <laughs> out of convenience. Out of convenience because a green you know, card, you, huh? Well, because you have kids and it, dude, there's a lot of things involved, man. That shouldn't but stay together. Vicky, yeah. Vicky, 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 Justo. 
guys, me being the relationship expert, I'm talking about, <laughs> insert sarcasm, I, I'm talking about dun, dun, that relationship dun. that never gets old, meaning like you're always happy to be around the person, you always get excited, that person that really truly, like it doesn't matter what you, this sounds so cheesy, but I mean it, like it doesn't matter what you do because everything you do is fun. You could go to, to the, yeah. you could go to the 7-Eleven and it's fun. That's me You're and talking dude. about a, right, rela- so you got a healthy it. relationship. Okay, so I want that. That's What's so up? that's okay, good. That's, that's not okay, a fairy tale. That's not fairy tale like the TV shows. Mm, that's not a not. that what you're explaining isn't a fairy tale. It's a real life thing that can happen with two people who love each other. I think that there is more relationships out of convenience than what we're talking about right here. I think you'd be surprised. Well, it happens. I think what he's trying to say is we need to help him find him a girl. No, I want Natalie. <laughs> true love. I want no. Natalie. No, 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 no. You're not understanding. I'm Bro, super picky. Okay, well, I good want. Luck. I know I want what I want. All right, well, good luck. Well, you can help me with the DMs, yeah. <laughs> oh shit! What am I? You're gonna keep DMing her? Well, that's I don't know. She's that's gonna block you. You're the girl, bro. <laughs> yeah, you tell me what to do. We'll talk about it off camera. We'll talk about it off camera. <laughs> we'll talk about it. All right, we gotta we'll talk about, about another failed relationship. Right. <laughs> it's all failed relationships. <laughs> Bill and Melinda Gates. Bill is the founder, one of the founders of Microsoft. In case you don't know that. Also, they're <laughs> super big philanthropists. And um, they are getting Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation does great work, more than great work, incredible work, stupendous work, stupendous, as you would say, sensual. Yeah, they do sensual work. That's the one. (laughs) That's a different foundation. Right, guys, you got to watch this podcast, like all 40 episodes to really kind of get this weird humor between all three of us. Um, (laughs) Subscribe. You'll get it. Um, Subscribe. Like, so they they got divorced after 27 years. Let me put this in perspective. That's sad, though. They've been together for hella long. 27, more than hella long. It's like, anyway, uh, their net net worth is 130 to 140 billion dollars. You said what now? You think what? I think he cheated on her. Yeah. You think Bill Gates cheated on anybody? Yeah. You think he's got a cheating bone in his, in his his body? Little little wiener body. Yeah. Yeah. He did not just say that. He has a big, he looks, he's a big wiener. That wiener helped build what you use, sir. I'm to, oh, that's fine. So like, like, so like, he's such a dick. He said wiener body. I know. He's a little, he's you're, a little nerd. He's yeah, a little nerd. Yeah, but you're, okay. you're talking him down. You're, you're insulting him. Is what you're doing. <laughs> That's okay. I can punch up. <laughs> he has 140 up. million dollars. I can, I can make I can, fun of billions, hey, billions. He goes, hey, I, I can, can make fun of Bill Gates. Talk that talk. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I can make fun of Bill Gates all day. It doesn't matter. He has 100 billion dollars. Vicky, what are your thoughts right. first? Because I want to throw two things at you, but I want to hear what you think. Do you care? Uh, about the relationship? I uh, just yeah, the fact that someone is really about the fact that God, they've been you, together for so long, and then all of a sudden they break up. Yeah, I wonder if something must I mean, have happened. You know, it's a long time. Something, some either something must have happened, or they just it's over it. Fell out, like yeah. fell happens. out, huh? After almost thirty years, I just fell out. It, that happens. It can happen. Thank you. Yeah. I was telling him this. Last There's a lot night, of reasons like, breakups happen. No, it's that's not true. And I was like, bro. It happens. Dude, after like, being together for a long time, like that's why relationships are work, especially at that point. Cause you've been with this person 20 plus years. Right. You always have to make it new and fresh and different somehow. And that gets oh, harder okay. with time. Thank you. That's another word that I use. He should have played dress nanny. up. Yeah. It probably was just no more spot nanny. So I was just And like, like okay, all business. So they have multiple you, businesses together. You know like it's I mean, a lot. it's cool. They had their run and but they're just kind of like I kind of want to grow old by myself i can't which is crazy but like that's the other thing right because they're all they're kind of old like what <laughs> kind of old they're, kind of old? how old are they he's 66 but she's I actually mean, would you would you uh, she's 50 I mean, would 56 you guys, he's 10 years older in a, would you stay in a relationship if you're not happy anymore? how much are they worth that's a good point mm. bro how much are they worth that's what you that's what you're going for well can i be worth? real can i be Does real? melinda get a good chunk of that too oh yeah, can, can, yeah they, sure. i did all the research they have a separation clause in a relationship not a prenup but a separation so she will be taken care of dude they're well, worth yeah. 130 to 150 billion dollars she'll be now fine. let me answer your question dollars. she's in her 50s she can find somebody. she's 56 yeah she's she's all right man i i dm her all right <laughs> so can i vicky can i answer your question so that's you next. said that's what i'm going for net worth Guys, net worth. What do you think about this? Call it a fucking day. When I say that, <laughs> if they're married for 30 years, just separate, buy each other, just live in your separate mansions, okay? And just you stay have a, you, you cannot even spend all the money that you have and just go hook up with whoever you want and live your life. You don't even need to go get the lawyers involved and do all that messiness. Live your life. That's, if, what, that's basically what Will Smith and Jada Smith do. Right. So that's my answer to you. So when I when I, when I say 
It's kind of v- true. Hey, Vic. Yo, touche. <laughs> so, Vicky, so when I say, what are they worth? Bro, they don't even need to go through this messy divorce. You know what I'm saying? Just go, go move. At, that, at their level? Yeah, you're kind of right. I kind of get it. Thank you. Why go through the, through the, the book, the BS. The hassle and the like press of being divorced. Just be like, all right, dude, we'll just he can give her, dude. Uh, he you can, can give have her... the whole West Wing of our mansion. It's fine, dude. You can. They can buy ten, 10 million <laughs> take mansions. This side. I'll take this side. Won't even see each other. You can't spend There's multiple kitchens, you, bathrooms, you, and everything. Anyway, you so. cannot spend one hundred thirty billion dollars. What I'm saying is like, yo, like you said, money. he's not. I mean, he's not. He ain't a wild dude, bro. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? He ain't a wild. He ain't a wild child. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Unless so, he is. You never know. Never know, man. You always say closet never freak. You now, know. another thing. After almost 30 years of marriage, <laughs> what does that say about love? Meaning like. It says more about people than it does love. That's. Well, true. from the outside looking in, we think Bill and Melinda have the perfect thing. They're together. They both stand for something. They're both great See, people. They're both something smart. That we got to also understand is that. There's some universal There's, truths, right? Just because you're rich doesn't mean you're going to have a perfect relationship. No, I, right. I, I know Nothing's that. Everything's perfect, bro. But what I'm saying is, Everybody is that- Everybody thought Sweetie and Quavo were perfect. And yeah, I, I put all my money day. on yeah. them. I thought they were- <laughs> I would have put, put my money on nobody. <laughs> Period. But, but, like, but, but here's the thing. What I'm saying is like, in a way, their relationship is relationship is a success because they were together for so long. So it's like, why? At this point, you're like, why even, right. why even go through this? Because- like most like th- relationships don't even last like after to me something lasting even close to 10 years is success five years seven years i mean that's years. coming from julian who's been together for what was your longest relationship two, two three years, years. yeah, yeah. long so, time ago my yeah. wife and i just hit five together from dating Man. dating which that like, includes dating that includes dating yeah that's do you still feel together. like you're you're walking taller and you're you're walking faster? Do you feel like a man? Like she makes you a better man every day. You're laughing. I'm being serious. No, just the way you said it, it made me laugh. But yeah, <laughs> every day. I, how, the best, how tall are you? The best part of my day you is when I how tall are you? No, how tall are you? I'm six one and a half. Okay, so when you and a half, you got it. When you walk like out that, that door with, with shoes, I'm six two. Does she make you feel like you're six <laughs> five? Yeah, every day. And the you, best you, the best part of my day is when I get to see her. You're saying that for the cameras? Aww. No, I swear. I tell her this all the time. I mean, if anything, I, she gets tired of me saying it. She's like, shut up. I get it. I know you love me. It's fine. <laughs> so she's hey, the baker. The He's the beauty. <laughs> she's the bakery. He's the beauty. I'm the same way sometimes. I'm not even going to lie. Wait, I'm, you're going, in- I'm going on 10 years. Oh, my God. And you're yeah, like dude. young. Yeah. That's Y'all have been together since like high school and shit, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Since we were 17. That's yeah. that true high school love. Is that really what your story is? Like it's like that fairy tale high school. <laughs> is that really what it is? Is that mm-hmm. what your story is? You know yeah, is that what it is, man? <laughs> I was 17. I was my freshman year in college. Tight. So at 17? At 17. You went to college at 17? Mm-hmm. Huh? You smart or something, man? You smart or something? What are you? What are you, some sort of Bill Gates? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah. <laughs> so yeah. would you say? Like some people are say, man, they're they're not together after twenty seven, almost thirty years. What does that say about love, guys? Should I just give up on? I'm not saying this. Just is just like mm. some people in the comments saying, man, what what do you say about love? Love is going to be that much difficult to find because if Bill and Melinda can't do it, right? It's kind of like that whole if Bill and Melinda can't make it happen forever. I mean, to me, thirty years is pretty much forever. Then what does that say about love in general? It doesn't say anything about love. I'm just. It doesn't you ever know, just because when you, their when you're thing in a didn't relationship. Work. I mean, you enjoy, you enjoy the company. You enjoy each other's space. Like you guys want to have fun. You guys want to ad- do adventures, explore. I right. mean, if, but if it's not there anymore, where the spark kind of just gets lost. That's I'm, why relationships are work. You always have to work on making things fresh, spon- spontaneous. Yeah quality time like all the stuff you have to make make it a make it a point all the time i'm not just saying this because i know you probably you're, you're, honestly i feel like relationship is about effort yeah on effort. both on both and communica- you're, you're saying and you don't think bill is making any effort there's just no i feel like Who's they're so caught they're pro- no it's just i just feel like people Could get so ways. caught up in the business yeah and becoming successful and there's nothing wrong with that yeah but then because they get so caught up on it that it's just you where, know, where is the love yeah you don't carve out that time for each other you know because where it's all it's love? all business talk it's all oh we need to do this we need to do yeah, this yeah, yeah. Need i love that you said that it's like when when do you guys have time to actually cuddle make time together yeah. you know what I'm saying? and and the thing is Hold like that's hands. one thing that i also say too like when like just because you guys lay down together doesn't mean that you're necessarily spending time together that's a good point you know what word. i mean yeah. like you guys can be laying in the same bed yeah. but y'all that's not 
that I would you guys are not that together as one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, I mean, your souls are not together. Yeah. You're not morphing into you gotta, each other. Exactly. You got to lock eyes where's and the, shit. Where's the connection? To that where's soul the, gaze. You're not spooning. You know? Yeah. <laughs> where's I the mean, spooning? Shoot. Hey. <laughs> or would you be the big spoon or the little spoon? Little uh, spoon. Jillian, be, <laughs> <laughs> Jillian be the little. cutest little spoon. Hey. <laughs> Little with everything, you, all right? I own it. <laughs> anyway. Big. Can you but that's spoon? weird. That's weird. I want to talk okay. about him. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, I'm, a, I'm a big spoon. But but like, do, do you think, and I'm not just saying this for the cameras. I honestly think, I, I think they had a logistical relationship. You're right. Because I think that, so when Especially you're at as, that point and well, all that money, when you're as smart as they are and they both come from Ivy League educations, they're so smart. They probably have business philanthropy, which is great. Yeah. I think you're right. I don't think he's hitting it. Number one. And I don't think. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're laughing. You're probably you think, not wrong. Can but you that, see? That's what yeah. I'm saying. Though. Like, like, they need to do some Pornhub shit. Like, do you think Bill Gates is really role playing dressing up as Catwoman? No, no. He's not dressing up as a delivery guy. He's not doing the shit. That's you're, an image I didn't want. No, 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 no. Catwoman. I'm like, well, I'm saying you need to be doing some weird kinky shit. He needs to be eating the. I mean, he needs to be eating this shit. He's not. I'll bet you. I'll bet you on everything. And I'm not saying this to the cameras. He needs to, like you said, spontaneity. Yeah. I'll bet you there was no spontaneity yeah. in she 27 years. I bet they got up every day and they probably, you know, they went through about their business with their Microsoft. Daily routine, their daily routine. Their daily routine, philanthropy. They probably, That's and, what I'm saying. which is great. But I'm, I, when it comes to them, he was not hitting it. I'll bet you never hit it doggy once. <laughs> never. Won. I'm just saying. I can't handle this. I don't, you know, I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even gonna I think I, I, the more I I'm think not about even it, gonna go there Vicky look the problem with relationships is sometimes a lot of it's financial and that causes stress right I don't obviously their issue was not financial I think it was sexual I think lack of sex word probably I wouldn't be surprised I mean let's, that's what I'm saying there was no spot nanny there ain't no because money can't else. buy that that's Business. on you that's on Bill Ooh. get it money can't make him a better lover or make, make him better emotionally you can buy prostitutes <laughs> no, no, no! I'm talking. I'm, no, no, Vic, I'm talking with with her. With each he other, he needs to work on it <laughs> no, himself. I and I okay. bet, oh, yeah, I'll bet he didn't. I'll bet he didn't. He's like, well, let me get on my computer and see how I can do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not to play it's a great Bill Gates impression. Nailed him. I'm just saying, right? I like it. No, it's I, a good point. I, no, it's a good point. It's a piece it. of the puzzle. I, you know, it's a piece of the puzzle. Pornhub would have probably, you know, would have helped. Would have probably helped. <laughs> I'm, I'm not being. Doctor Julian subscribes. Yo, just uh, have him. Just have him reach out to Lil Nas X. <laughs> yeah. They can watch his music video on there. Go watch his music video on Pornhub. By, by the way, Lil Nas X is going to be on SNL on the 22nd. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. he'll just be performing. It's going to go hella good. Or, well, I think it's going to be very... <laughs> I'm trying to see, Elon Musk is going to be hosting. That's going to be fucking This weekend. Weird. That's going to be fucking This weird. weekend. Oh, he's, he's what? He's hosting. He's hosting? Yo. It's going to be cringy. That'll be it's interesting. Gonna be, he's a fucking robot. Just though. Be, gonna be, be do you know that people shit. on the show are protesting it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? Because he's a little because they uh, don't like him, I guess. Or they he's a little, issue. yeah. He's a little like weird. socially little awkward. Bit. There's some. He's done some like kind of weird. Well, that's stuff. probably why they they have him host because he's socially awkward. But they're also going to be that's what's going to get eyes on the show. But I'll bet you because he's of so it is he's so no, socially that's awkward. Why they're doing it. He's so socially awkward. I'll bet you he's the freak in the bedroom. Elon Musk needs to be he needs to be coaching Bill Gates. Yeah, that's what needs to be happening. Get them to in the bedroom. You know what I mean? To to get this relationship <laughs> back with Melinda. <laughs> Okay, Bill, this is how you hit it right. You know what I mean? That's what exactly what needs to be not doing. just say Bill. This Bill? Is I'm just saying. Bill? <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> All right, this is some interesting shit. <laughs> Next week, we'll talk about how Elon Musk did on It's Santa true. Right. I think the Bill Melinda thing was definitely sexual. It's not financial. It's definitely it's emotional. It's a piece sexual. of the puzzle. I'll say that. It's a piece of the puzzle. <laughs> All right. All right, man. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. Oh, uh, check us guys. out. Oh, check us out on all audio pot, uh, platforms. And yes. uh, if you subscribe to us on audio platforms like Spotify or Apple Podcasts, then you get the show early. Yeah. Oh, snap. quite a bit early. Yep. You know you so want you it a, early. You well, one last thing: we realize the, these videos are very long. You can also I timestamp every or we timestamp everything. Make sure if you, if you want, want to just, jump around different <laughs> subjects. Yep. The timestamps are below. You want to check out specific clips. Do that. And until next time, you want to get right to the bill. Gates sex talk. You Let's can go. just hit the thing and you're right there. Let's Boom. go. All right. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Till next week. Wear your mask. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> this is less than zero. Less